basic linear perspective has three areas, one point, two point, and three point. In this uh, clip, we're not going to deal with three point. That will come later. In order to understand it, you must first know the difference between the two, one point and two point. We need to recognize that there are certain qualities of one and certain qualities that are inherent for two. And we're going to start off with a little bit of uh, vocabulary. The central ray is that center of our sight that we use when we uh, view an object. When we shoot a gun, we put the central ray on the back sight, line it up with the front sight, and then aim the gun at the target. If all three, the center of the target, the back sight and the front sight are lined up and we pull the trigger gently, we are able to hit the target. So the central ray is the center of our sight. In the picture you're looking at, you will see the central ray is at a right angle to the pencil. We call this a non-distorted line. In other words, if we were measuring or whatever, the pencil would be that long. There's no distortion. But if the pencil is askew at an angle to the central ray, then distortion is, is introduced into the drawing. We call this a uh, foreshortening. We call it a distorted line. And this is where linear perspective really comes into its own. Now, to look at this another way, let's hold a pencil up and we will see that this is at a right angle to the camera and it is viewed as not being distorted. But if I tilt it, you notice that the pencil is appearing to get shorter and there is a certain amount of distortion in the object. We're going to use this little wooden house as a model to help us understand this. First of all, we are looking at it so that we have the main face at a right angle to the central ray. If we look at this line here and this line right here, they are at a right angle to the central ray. This here is at a right angle to the central ray and this right up here, these are at a right angle to the central ray. These are complicated. I really don't use those very often. Now, so if everything is at a right angle, that makes it a one point perspective. Now we're going to take a piece of art gum, we're going to prop this up at an angle. Now we no longer have a face that is at a right angle to the viewer, to the central ray, but we still have lines, this line and this line that are at a right angle this line right here at a right angle, but what about all these other lines? These are the distorted lines. These are converging lines. These are the lines that are askew that I've been talking about. So, to look at it another time, flat on like this, one point perspective. At askew makes it into a two point perspective. We're now going to see if you understand. I have some pictures I took out of the real estate section off the internet and they are basically one point and two points. So let's see if you can recognize what they are. Okay, let's see if you recognize this. Does it have a plane at a right angle? Next house. Apply the rule. Is there a plane at a right angle? Next house. Is there a plane at a right angle? Next house, do you see a plane at a right angle? This one's a little tricky because there's no walls. Is there a plane at a right angle? This house, slightly tricky, but is there a plane at a right angle? Is there a plane at a right angle? Where are the distorted lines? This one is really unusual. One point or two point? What do you think? And the last little house, one point or two point. Now, I'm going to talk about the houses you just saw, and I'm also going to carry these distorted lines using linear perspective to show you how they fit into one point and two point. This first house is a two point perspective. If you take a look, I have carried the lines out 
so that you can see they go to their vanishing points. There is no plane. They are actually distorted surfaces. This cabin, one point or two point? Take a look. There's a plane at a right angle to you, the viewer. It makes it one point. Different view of the same cabin, seen as a skew, makes it one point or two point? It's two point. This one is tricky because it doesn't have a flat face, but if you look at it, it's slightly askew, and therefore it has planes going off to either side and making it a two-point perspective. This is another tricky one. It could almost be one point, but if you look at the side of the house, you can see where the planes converge, and therefore this house is a two-point perspective. This is another house that has planes all over the place, but if you look for a flat surface at a right angle to the viewer, it's not there. That makes it a two-point perspective. The money house, no flat planes, two-point perspective. And the last house, the toy house, has a plane facing the viewer, therefore it is a one-point perspective.